Of course, during the last decade there has been several advances in our knowledge of amyloidosis, but unfortunately sudden death is still one very big uh, unmet need. So um, there are many three problems. The first of all is that the incidence of sudden death in patients with cardiac amyloidosis is very diverse. In some studies it has been reported as very low, but in some others has very frequent complication. The other problem is that the mechanism is also largely unknown. In some patients it's supposed to be due to asystolia or pulseless uh, electrical activity, but in others ventricular arrhythmia seem to play a major role. And the other uh, important, and this is the, the key clinical point, is that predictors of sudden death in, in amyloidosis are still needed. Um, in this Congress, we are presenting our work in collaboration with the uh, Hospital Santa Ursula di Bologna, presenting our results about uh, predictors of sudden death in patients with cardiac amyloidosis. Uh, regarding patients with TTR amyloidosis, we found that previous pacemaker was the only uh, risk factor that was associated with sudden death in these patients. Uh, this is very relevant because this also suggests that maybe ventricular arrhythmias that are not covered by pacemakers could be the cause of some of these cases. Uh, regarding AL amyloidosis, we found that uh, the incidence of sudden death was much more frequent. And the other aspect is that the only two risk factors that were associated with sudden death was a previous stroke and the use of beta blockers. This also has a very important clinical implications. First of all, because beta blockers should be avoided in these patients or should be used with lots of caution. And the other fact is that the previous history of a stroke in many of those cases might suggest that a stroke was the final cause of death.